when you think of uh, Ephesians 4, it's often we jump down to Ephesians 6 where it talks about um, the peace of God that transcends all understanding is going to guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. But if you go back up, you realize he's wanting you to count things for joy, to rejoice in God about things that are, yeah, they're hard. Because life is not easy, and we all know this truth. So when we trust in him, we give our prayer and, and request to him, and we're really, truly leaving them there, not, not yanking them back as soon as we get up from our knees, but we're leaving them there, saying, I'm trusting in you. I know you want good things for my children. I know you want good things for my family. I know you want good things in this world, and I am trusting you with this. When we lean upon him, he does. Even when things start getting ugly, we can have a peace that nobody else seems to have around us. Why? Because God gives it. Peace I give unto you, peace I leave with you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Neither let it, your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. That is Jesus telling us today. We, we get into fear. It's so easy with everything going on, the news, the things that we hear, the things that we see. But I, I just want to encourage you, start rejoicing in the Lord, thanking Him. Like that old song says, count your blessings, name them one by one. It's a mindset that we need to have so that we can have the peace of God because we know we can trust our Father. Blessings.